mean, we rely massively heavily on our volunteers. It takes 50 volunteers every single day to run the soup kitchen. So, you know, that's 250, 300 volunteers a week. For somebody who has a couple of hours on a weekday morning, I mean, a volunteer time frame is if people are here from 9.30, they'll be done by about a quarter to one. So that's the kind of time frame to volunteer. And we're very flexible in that people can just show up in the morning and, you know, we have a lot of jobs, we'll put them to work. I would say to someone who wants to volunteer, let go of the fear, put yourself out there, come in, and you'd be amazed at how much you need it and, and would be appreciated. You leave here at the end of the day wondering who actually got more out of it. You are the guests, and, and I would say the volunteer. We all see poverty in this city. We all see homelessness. I think the default position is that for most of us, we don't know what to do about the problem. It's so big, so we just walk on by. Coming here to this place, giving some time, having an interaction with somebody, it's something that you can do. Your smile, your talking to someone, could change somebody's day and I think our volunteers feel that and that's why so many of them keep coming back. I like Holy Apostle because of the clientele. I mean, you know, the people who work here, the, the, the staff, and um, to me everyone is cordial and helpful in any manner that they can. Other things, that, ways that people can help, um, donations of clothing, donations of toiletries, warm coats, socks, underwear, all those kind of donations. We, we can make a lot of use of stuff like that that you might otherwise maybe just think about throwing away. We estimate about a dollar for a meal because we get a lot of the food donated and we're very good stewards of our resources. So uh, a dollar a day from a donor really is a meal a day for somebody. So. Uh, current price of Starbucks, you could feed two people a day. Holy Apostles does more than just serve meals. They have a lot of uh, other programs. I know that you can get haircuts and there's clothing drives and medical care and help with housing. Uh, so I also, I crochet and knit. And so all year long I crochet and knit hats and scarves uh, f for the winter. And I've just brought in, I, this year I got 93 hats and 39 scarves done and I brought them in and we just had a little cold spell and the biggest thrill of my life was coming in early one morning and seeing all the homeless online wearing my hats <laughs> and it was just, it was great. You know. So there's a lot you can do here more than just standing around handing out drinks. They offer uh, programs here for participants if they want to participate such as they have the writer's project She's giving us uh, instructions on how to create a novel and she's doing a great job and I'm working on my novel now. Even if somebody has no time to do any of that, just simply by liking us on our Facebook page, that's a great way to help us build our community and people, our, our fans and friends on Facebook, help us share our message to other people. Yeah, I think it's a place of hope and I think people that come in um, feel that. Um, it's a place where volunteers, I think, feel connected and are able to give back. Uh, it's a place where guests are guests, you know, we don't call them clients or consumers. Um, they're really treated uh, with great dignity. In fact, many, many um, guests will come back and actually volunteer, which is terrific. For a lot of people that are very isolated in a big city with their own problems, it was a way for people to really uh, feel support from one another. And as we know, through all our personal problems, you practically can get through anything as long as there's kind of a community of support around us, whether that's family or church or synagogue or whatever community we have. While the statistics are overwhelming, while the problem can seem insurmountable, it's actually about people and about individuals and a lot of people get their lives back on track by coming here and that is, you know, the biggest, I think, thing that keeps us all going.